All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? It, it looks like a fish? Your Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? You think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Have a nice day. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
keep in there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
Charlie, help! God damn. Another stiff? Who's the lucky Oh, one? damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a f poor fucker. Me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on deck. Yeah. Fine. Agreed. Yeah. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling alright? God, no. Charlie!
Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Won't you spare me your tears? Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. 
if you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken, or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water, diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to, I just didn't. I didn't have time, you know, I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man, it's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, tag along? Seriously? I thought I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... When you met me, you know? And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. It's been like two weeks. Yep, right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big. Trying to make it. Uh, about finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey. What's up, man? Con this is Lady Killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, a lot of stuff, boy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TBH, I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Nah, man, you, you really, really don't want to see me, you know, blowing chunks. <laughs> so yourself, you ever do any diving before? 
Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. We're gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> Okay, look, you're the client. Just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Put your eyes on this. Whoa, hey, look at that. What is it? Looks like a bomber. Can you zoom in? Oh, yeah, definitely a B-29. That's good, right? Uh, our kitten's good. Our miniature horse is good. Brad. Hey, bro. Don't I get a little end zone dance? Watch me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> During World War II, they built these suckers to cruise at the highest altitude possible while maintaining the ability to carry nuclear warheads. And... They were just, like, so dope. Ah, oh, so dope! Oh, my God. Sorry, yeah, uh, nerd burst. <laughs> oh, please, keep going. Uh... Bliss, we found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh... Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine, as long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? I am gonna do some reading up on B-29s. We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. You know how to use that? Uh, no, not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Yo, little bro. Howdy. How's it hanging, sport? Man, still can't believe we actually found the plane. I honestly wasn't sure we would. Totally. I mean, what were we going on? A wing and a prayer? <laughs> and a little web surfing? Man, I really can't wait to see what you find down there. Well, if there is anything cool down there, I'll nab it for you. 
Just don't let Captain Killjoy find out. I get Fliss has a rule. But man, it'd be cool as hell just to get my hands on some little relic from my first wreck. Don't forget the camera. Picks or it didn't happen. Whatever we bring up, we'll go through it all together and you'll tell me what I got, okay? Dope. Since when do you say dope? Since I realized it was like, tight? Fresh. Welp, see you later. Sure, thanks for checking in. I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Huh. What am I looking at here? This doesn't look kosher. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. Hey guys, thanks for For ready. all you know, tanks this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Thanks for sending me straight. Oh, hey, guys. What, Jesus, why are you so loud? I almost completely forgot. When I was looking at the dive cam, I saw this huge hole in the tail, kablooey. That's your way into the plane. Oh, nice work, man. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. You're on camera, I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Soon it will be you and me. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. 
Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. <laughs> like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command? No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? You know it's not polite to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sorry, I've got enough on my plate for the moment. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. Hi. Hey. You okay? Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. So, how did you figure it out? Everyone was just looking at where the plane was headed. But I asked myself, where was the plane from? You know, where was that airbase? So I made some guesses based on that hypothetical return flight and I guess I guessed good. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later.
Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Duke to Alex. Do ya? Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> Nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh 10 bucks cover? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well shoot, you you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. The turret, we can get in through there. Oh, careful, could be dangerous. Ladies first. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring.
Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? Little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? Ugh. Ugh. Ah, cheap piece of shit. Gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Julia! Oh my god! Just don't touch anything else, please! He's holding something.
It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't... I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell, because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> Alright, handsome hero. You wanna get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Where did that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. I'm going. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, it's huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys! Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. 
and he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I've been taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey, 